Hi everyone, this is Kanika and in this video we are going to discuss an easy lead code problem which is binary tree pass. So we are given a root of a binary tree and we need to return all root to leaf paths and we can return that in any order. And remember a leaf is a node with no children. So here in this tree you can see that we need to return all root to leaf paths. So this is the root and this is a leaf node since it has no left and right side and this is also a leaf node. So we need to return all the paths from root to leaf. So one of the path can be 1 to 2 and 2 to 5. So we need to return like this 1 arrow 2 arrow 5. And second path can be 1 2 3. So 1 2 3 can be another path. So there can be two paths from root to leaf. And we need to return list of strings containing those paths. So we need to return output like this. And if there is a single node, then we'll return a list containing the single node. Okay, so let's discuss how can we approach this question. So since we need to return all root to leaf paths, that means we need to traverse downwards. So for every node, we'll check for its left and right side. When we are at root node, we'll set our current path as 1. And then we'll check for its left child. Does it have a left child? Yes, it has a left child which is 2. And a current path is 1. What we can do is we can append an arrow and the current node value which we are traversing. So we are at 2. We'll append arrow and then current node value to our path. Our path was 1 initially and we have appended arrow and 2. Similarly, now our path has become 1 arrow 2. And then we'll check for its left child. Does it have a left child? No. Then we will check for its right child. Does it have a right child? Yes. So our current path at this point is 1 arrow 2 and we will append an arrow and the current node value that is 5. After that we will check does it have a left or a right child. It, since it does not have any left or right child that means this is a leaf node and we can append this path to our result. So we can maintain a variable called result and we can append this path as soon as we reach the leaf node to our result. So one path we have appended. After that, we'll backtrack. So this node's left and right call has been completed. And we'll again backtrack. So this portion of left side has been completed. The left call has been completed. Now we'll move to right section. At node 3, the path is 1. The path which was set initially is 1. And then we'll append an arrow and the current node value which is 3 to our path. And we'll see that it is also a leaf node since it doesn't have its left and doesn't have its right. That means we can append this path to our result. So we have appended 1 comma 3 as well in our result. And at last we will return our result. So what we need to do here is firstly we have to set our path as the roots value if root is not null. And if it has left child then call the same function for the left. If it has right child then call the same function for right. And before, before these left and right calls we will check at every point that if nodes left and right are null then it's a leaf node and then we can we can add that to our result. So these are the steps that we need to follow at every node. So now let's discuss the code. Okay, so this is a three node class and it has value and left and right references. And these are the constructors which initializes the values. Okay, so there is nothing to worry about. And now let's discuss the function which we need to complete. Okay, so we are given a function binary tree path which should return a list of strings. So we have created a list of strings and we have checked if root is not null. If root is null, then we'll return result and in this case our result would be empty. If our root is not null, then we'll call this function build path. This is a helper function which we have created. And why we have created a helper function? Because we need to pass several parameters for each call. So we have passed root as one of the parameters. Here is the build path function. We have passed root as one of the parameters. Then we have passed result. That means the list of string which we have created. So that we, at every recursive call, we can add the value of path to our result. So as you can see in build path function, this is the node, tree node. And initially we have passed the root which was given to us here in this case. And then we have passed res result which we have created our list of string and then we have passed one of the parameters as path 
and in this path we have passed root dot value because since root is not null and we can pass root dot value initially in this case okay so let's have a look at this build path function what's happening inside this build path function so first we will check whether if it's a leaf node or not so this is to check if it's a leaf node or not so if node doesn't have its left and doesn't have its right that means we can add our path to the result and if it's not a leaf node then we'll check does it have a left child yes if if the node has left that means if left is not null then we'll call the same function build path we'll call the same function build path but we'll pass node dot left as our new node so we'll pass left node as our new node and we'll pass this result as the parameter and then uh, while passing the path we'll pass the original path so in that case our path was one initially and then we'll append an arrow we'll append an arrow while calling the function for its left and right child we'll append an arrow and then we'll append the value of the node for which we are calling the function that means in this case we are calling it for the left node so we'll append left node's value that means if the tree has left node as 2 we'll append 2 to the value so our current path would become 1 arrow 2 while calling this function for our left child similar thing we have done for its right child that if node has its right then we'll call the same function build path we'll pass new node as node dot right and we'll append our path with arrow and nodes rights value and after all the recursive calls are over then we'll return the result at the end so let's see a dry run for this code for this particular tool which was given to us earlier so we'll call our function build path we'll call our function build path initially we'll pass the path as one and then we'll check whether it's a leaf node or not so the node which we are currently traversing is one and it is not a leaf node then we'll move to this point here we'll check if left is not null so here left is not null then we'll call the same function call the same function and we'll pass path as one arrow the left node value which is two so we are traversing node 2 here in this case. We will call this same function build path for this call. And since we are calling the same function, so we will move to this step. Again we will check whether this node, node 2 is a leaf node or not. It is not a leaf node. We will check whether its left is null or not. It is null. So we will skip this if and move on to another if. We will check if its right is not null or not. So right is not null so we'll call the same function for its current path as 1 comma 2 and, and we'll append arrow and then this node value which is 5 so when this function will be called we'll start with this line again and we'll check whether its left and right is null or not so in this case its left and right is null so we'll add the path to our result so our new result would become 1 arrow 2 arrow 5 so when this function will be over at this particular step its left and right call is over and at this particular step also its left and right call is over so we'll reach here at this function its left call is over now for root for this function call we have completed till here we have completed build path function for the left call which is this function now we'll move on to this it we'll check if it has right child or not yes it has right child which is 3 for this particular node we'll call build path function so we'll call another function and we'll pass the current path appended by arrow and appended by the right node value which is 3 so we'll call build path function for the right child which is node 3 so we'll check whether if it is a leaf node yes it's a leaf node we'll add path to our result so our new result would be 1 arrow 2 arrow 5 and then again 1 arrow 3 which was our path so 1 arrow 3 and then since all the calls are over we will return result in this case so what is the time complexity time complexity we can say big of n recursively and what is the space complexity space complexity can be said as big of n since we can have at max n number of recursive calls so i hope you have understood it Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye for now.